stunning backdrop of Chicago plays host to the second and final round of the Aquacross Amateur Enduro Northeast Series. The action got going a few weeks ago down the road in Whiting, and what a weekend it was. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Whiting, Indiana for round one of the P1 Aquacross USA Pro-Am event, the Northeast Series about to unfold. It's two pretty spectacular events. Um, with the uh, Aquacross really fits right in, it's very high energy, and the Woe Zone is uh, extremely high energy as well. You're really hitting on all those trends. We're getting the families back to nature, it's active recreation for all generations, and it's sustainable year after year. It's Lake Michigan. We are here in Whiting, Indiana, and I'll tell you folks, what a phenomenal venue. It's been awesome to see how the city has transformed under the vision of Mayor Sahara. Uh, he's done an amazing job of utilizing our lakefront, and uh, we're excited to have the Aquacross jet ski races here for a second year. Well, I think what P1 Aquacross being here in Whiting does is it creates an event, a water sport event, that brings people to our lakefront, not just in the Whiting area, but from all over the place. Again, it's really just to showcase everything that Whiting, Indiana has to offer. The conditions on the water here today are phenomenal. Let's see what Jay Edworthy, last year's champion, has to say about today's race. I, uh, we had a great season last year. Had a lot of help from uh, a lot of friends, a lot of family, and uh, uh, repeating this year would be really nice. Uh, there's some competition in the sport that has come from all different areas this year, so we just have to be on our game and do the best that we can with what's been presented before us. Within the group, uh, we have Dave Davidson's been a seasoned ski rider and now stepped up to uh, race and runabouts on a Yamaha this year. He's been doing pretty good. Uh, really impressed with the way he rides. He's probably one of the guys I keep my eye on this weekend. Today looks like it's going to be a fun day. Yeah, there's the odd big one. Maybe we can get some big air and make some nice pictures for everybody. And it, it looks like a fun day. Now that we've visited with Jay Edworthy, let's cross over to his training mate, Dave Davidson, who's been riding skis for 25 years and is now riding sit-downs. First time I've been on a runabout in my career, so it's, it's something different, something fun. Um, definitely can't say it's any easier than a ski. It's different for sure. Uh, the conditions are definitely uh, a lot rougher than an ocean race. They're just completely different than the ocean. I mean, we practice in the Great Lakes. I'm from the Toronto area. We practice in Lake Ontario, so very similar to Lake Michigan. You have to kind of slow down and really read the water here because uh, if you hit a wave the wrong way, it's going to flip you and throw you off the boat. And I found that out. Uh, you got to really respect the water at all times. So, uh, like I say, a, a podium would be great, but a top five would, uh, would be a goal. The race conditions here in Whiting, Indiana, wind speed 16 miles per hour, air temp 23 degrees Celsius. As for the course guy, they're gonna come off the back straight away. It's going to be about a mile and a half course with six turns, which is going to be very difficult for our racers to maneuver given the wavy conditions. P1 Aquacross USA Pro-Am race number one here in Whiting, Indiana. We're going to go on board with some helmet cam footage from number 44, Daniel Wagoner. This race is green flag. It is underway, and our racers are hauling down the back straightaway as they're looking to jockey for position. You see C-477, Jay Edworthy, along with Daniel Wagner, once again, given that great helmet footage there. As they come down that back straightaway, they're going to work their way to the left side of the course. And as we see Jason Lester and Wagner going at it, Lester on the 35 machine gets crazy, goes 180 degrees sideways and hits Wagner. That's going to allow Jay Edworthy on the C-477 machine to take the lead and work his way down the front straight away. Let's look at that again. Lester on the 35 catches a rogue wave, turns 180 degrees and makes contact with Daniel Wagner on the 44 boat. That cost Wagner the lead. Jay Edworthy right there on the 477 machine, taking advantage of what happened in front of him and now he takes the lead. As we look at those riders working their way down the right side of the course, we're looking at helmet cam footage from C-477. Jay Edworthy, the man is on fire. He's on a mission. And as they go down the back straightaway, it's Edworthy on C-4077 and Wagner on the 44 machine. 
Edworthy back there on the replay. Look at this footage. Edworthy on the inside, Wagner on the outside. We go back to the front straight away as Jay Edworthy still way out in front with Daniel Wagner trying to close that gap. Wagner currently running into that second position. And as they work their way down the front straightaway, we're gonna cut to Dave Davidson on the 221 machine. Davidson trying to close that gap as we see Jay Edworthy now really stretching that gap out in front. Here comes Daniel Wagner on the 44 machine looking to close that gap as well. Great footage. You can see just how rough that water is as those riders, extreme athletes being pushed to the, the greatest abilities. Edwardly, currently your leader on C477, 105. Christian Daly currently running second. It looks like Dave Davidson on the 221 machine running third as we cut to Dave Davidson. And you'll see exactly how rough these water conditions are here in Whiting, Indiana. This is a virtual washboard. Very difficult riding conditions. Some of these machines can do 80, 85 miles per hour, and these guys are probably doing 65, 70 right now, as we're looking at Dave Davidson currently holding on to that, that third position. And we see some jockeying for the lead here. Cutting back to the race footage here on Wagner on the 44 machine. Daniel Wagner on the 44, he's riding the Yamaha, once again providing the incredible helmet cam footage. Now these racers are coming along the jetty here on the front straightaway. Dave Davidson on the 221 showing you that he's making these sweeping turns. Now this is a six turn course, which doesn't sound that complicated, but when you throw these waves at it, it's absolutely familiar, uh, unbelievable. Edworthy on the C47, Daly on the 105, Dave Davidson on the 221. As we jockey for position down this run, way to, uh, front straightaway, it is Christian Daly on the 105 boat. Now, Daly riding a 250 machine up against the 300s, and he's all over Jay Edworthy with Davidson right there, knock, knock, knocking on his door. We're in the last lap here. Edworthy, one lap to go, white flag race conditions. As we go to helmet cam footage, he's got to try to hold off Christian Daly and Dave Davidson, his training mate, as they run this last lap, working their way off the left side of the course. Here comes Jay Edworthy on the C477, working his way off the left side of the course toward the front straightaway. And here he comes, taking the checkered flag. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for C477, Jay Edworthy out of Cambridge, Ontario, Canada. Here we go, our championship round race one results. First place, Edworthy, second, Davidson, third, Lester, fourth, Harrison, fifth, Marco Mango, and sixth place, Daniel Wagner with a DNF. Moving on to race number two, the P1 Aquacross USA Pro-Am race number two event. Jay Edworthy picked up the win in race number one, and here he's picking right up where he left off, pulling a killer hole shot here as the C-477 boat uh, leading this one. Cutting to 225, Dean Harrison on the Yamaha. Harrison, uh, a newbie to the Aquacross Tour last year, has made leaps and bounds towards uh, moving towards the front of the pack and becoming a better rider as we cut away there to uh, 221, Dave Davidson. As we look at boat number 35, Jason Lester down the front straightaway. He's on that black machine, cutting around the right side and sweeping around that chicane, cutting back to C-477, Jay Edworthy. And here we go to Lester on the 35 machine, trying to close that gap. Jason Lester trying to close that gap on Edworthy. And look at the back straightaway there. It looks like 477 and Lester going at it. Edworthy and Lester back and forth. Lester took the lead and Edworthy takes it back over, getting into that riding style. He is hard on the throttle as we go to Jay Edworthy on the C477. He's going to pick up the win in race number two as well. So here we are in Whiting, Indiana, race number two victory going to Jay Edworthy. P1 Aquacross USA Pro-Am event, race number three for the Northeast Series here. C477, Jay Edworthy picked up the win in race number one, picked up the race, a uh, win in race number two, that is, and now pulls the whole shot in race number three. 
6'11", Marco Mango, out there also representing Canada on Racer X uh, Racing. As we cut back to C477, Jay Edworthy, the man is just on a mission, kicking some tires, lighting some fires as he works his way around the right side chicane. Jay Edworthy, your current leader of race number three. We cut away to Jason Lester on the 35 machine. Lester trying to close that gap on Edworthy. He nearly was able to do that in race number two, but Edworthy just too much machine as we cut away to Edworthy working his way off the left side of the course and toward the front straightaway. Jay Edworthy on C477 out of Cambridge, Ontario, Canada, gonna pick up the win in race number three as well. It's a clean sweep. Jay Edworthy picking up the win. Looks like Dave Davidson on the 221 machine, a dismount just after crossing the finish line buoys as Edworthy getting some congratulations from his competitors. Let's see how the scores end up finishing and what round one looks like. Picking up for the win for the weekend, Jay Edworthy, Dave Davidson in second, Jason Lester in third, Marco Mango in fourth, Daniel Wagner in fifth, and Dean Harrison in sixth. Uh, round two in Chicago might be a little bit different this year. It's gonna be a few more competitors, so I've heard because of the pros come, they bring other riders with them, other amateurs. We're fortunate enough to maybe do both there. Um, yeah, it, it'll be interesting. So a great win for Jay Edworthy. Join us after the break and we'll catch up with him here in Chicago. Welcome back to Chicago for the P1 Aquacross Amateur Enduro Northeast Series. Jay Edworthy is currently leading the series. Let's get a word with him. It's exciting because we got some really different water conditions here. It's really challenging out there today. So a little bit excited, a little bit nervous. It's Everybody gets different emotions during the race, so just try and keep as calm as possible. Uh, you really can't train for this unless you're out riding in it all the time. Yes, we do kind of train on the Great Lakes, but we don't train near a, a retaining wall, so that's kind of a that's kind of tough for us. I'm hoping to be able to retain the championship from last year and from the last round. Uh, it'd be really exciting if we can for the whole JetX crew and uh, myself personally. The, uh, the goal is just to come out and have some fun and, and enjoy what we've worked so hard for. Chasing him hard is veteran racer Dave Davidson, who after 25 years of closed course racing has made the switch to aquacross. I guess easier for me personally is in endurance. I've always been all right with the endurance part of it. The challenges are riding a runabout, something I've never done in all my years of racing. So it's a completely different machine than riding a stand-up ski. Different muscle groups, different everything. So um, it's been tough to adapt. Um, uh, you know, it's really up for grabs. Um, whoever can hang on in this kind of these kind of conditions are really, really rough. Um, even rough by our standards uh, in the Great Lakes, so it's it's gonna be interesting and uh, it's gonna be a tough moto to get through, but uh, whoever can stay on and, and make progress out there in those waves is, is gonna come ahead. So now it's time for race one and over to Mike. Here we are in Chicago, Illinois for round two of the P1 Aquacross Pro-Am race event, the Northeast Series. Course guide, a six turn track, about a mile and a half long. These racers are gonna race 30 minutes plus one lap. And I'll tell you what, the conditions are brutal here in Chicago, Illinois. Like I said, round two of the Northeast Series Pro-Am event, P1 Aquacross coming at you as our racers line up and we go on board with Jay Edworthy on the C-477 boat out of Cambridge, Ontario, Canada. 
Ed Worthy, the current leader in the overall series, as we look at the hole shot, and it looks like 734, Gary Shrigley getting a killer hole shot, but we'll see as these racers blend together, sure enough, it's Shrigley on the 734 boat, 105, Christian Daly and C-477, Ed Worthy all in the hunt. And we are looking at Shrigley pulling a killer hole shot as he's down that back straightaway. Like I said, 30 minutes plus one lap to go. And there you have it, Gary Shrigley pulling the hole shot, your current leader on the 734 machine riding on the Yamaha. Gary Shrigley out of Naples, Florida. We cut back to C-477, Jay Edworthy, as he is the points leader in the Northeast Series right now in the Pro-Am race. The guy is also signed up as a pro racer and Ironman, Jay Edworthy. As we look at Shrigley getting a, a pretty good jump, Gary Shrigley, your leader, Christian Daly on the 105 machine currently running second, and Edworthy back there in that third position as they go down the back straightaway. It's Daly and Edworthy. Look at the chop that those riders are running through. Once again, trying to keep the pump hooked up. Jay Edworthy pulls a lanyard. Edworthy pulls a lanyard. That's going to cost him some valuable time as that's going to give Christian Daly a little bit of a gap over Edworthy. And there we have Jason Lester on the 35 machine. Dog leg right as they work their way down the back straightaway. It's Lester on the 35. Edworthy on the C4077. And we look at that sea dew of Jay Edworthy. As you can see, just how rough these conditions are. That machine is hardly in the water. Once again, want to keep them in the water. Keep that pump hooked up. That's how we thrust forward as they work their way off the back side of the course towards the left side and to the front straightaway. We cut to Christian Daly on the 105 machine, currently holding on to that second position as the front of the pack trying to move up on the back of the pack. Christian Daly down the front straightaway. Your leader now, Edworthy on the C477. Daly currently running second and Lester running into third as Shrigley is now out of the hunt for first place in this first race here in Chicago, Illinois. Edworthy all over the place as he's hopping and popping. Four, five, and six foot washboard shop here in Chicago, Illinois, putting these racers to a true test of athleticism as they are going to have to go the entire distance here of 30 laps plus, or 30 minutes plus one laps, that is, folks, as we're watching Edworthy taking the abuse your current points leader in the Northeast series of the P1 Aquacross race series. Back to Christian Daly on the 105 machine, currently holding on to that second position. 105 Daly, he's the only 250 rider in the class as we see Daly all over Edworthy like a bad rash down the back straightaway. It's Edworthy and Daly. Daly on the white machine, Edworthy on C-477. They move up on the back of the pack. We cut back to that great helmet cam footage on Jay Edworthy's machine on the sea dew C-477. Back to 105, Christian Daly, 15 minutes to go plus one lap as he is trying to keep that machine in the ground. Now, Daly comes from a F1 background of racing, I do believe, and he is trying to close that gap on Jay Edworthy as we cut back to the back of the pack. And now this race again, Edworthy and Daly all over it as they come up on lap traffic, working their way on the left side of the course. Uh, Edworthy gonna go outside, Daly gonna cut it tight, and Daly all over Edworthy as he's trying to close that gap. Edworthy's trying to hold him off, your current points leader. And here they come off the left side of the course, down the front straightaway. Edworthy on the inside, Daly on the outside. Daly pushing that limit, trying to take that spot over from Edworthy, not able to do it as Jason Lester on the 35 machine, still back there in the third position. Back to the dog leg right, and now off the right side of the course to the back straightaway. You can see the gap there that Edworthy has now placed over uh, Christian Daly. 221, Dave Davidson in the hunt as well. Did very well in Whiting, Indiana just a couple of weeks ago, as I do believe he finished second in that race, trying to close the gap here and get himself as a podium finisher. But once again, this is just race one of a three-race series in Chicago, Illinois. 
Jay Edworthy, the chop unbelievable, front of the pack moving up on the back of the pack, and here comes Christian Daly trying to close that gap. Edworthy getting big air as they come to that dog leg and now approach the front, front side of the course. Back on helmet cam with Jay Edworthy, C-477, you see just how close it is there with 105, Christian Daly on a 250 machine battling against the 300, so he's a little under horsepowered, but I'll tell you what, in today's race conditions, that horsepower probably doesn't matter a lot. Edworthy, your current leader, Daly running second, Jason Lester on the 35 machine, currently running third. As we go back to that helmet cam footage, just absolutely amazing. Jay Edworthy trying to hold off. Christian Daly, Christian Daly! Big air as he pulled that machine into a 180 degree nose stab. Christian Daly a little shaken up, not knowing which way is up. Got his lanyard back into the machine and he is trying to close that gap. Let's see a replay. Daly, rogue wave, 180 degree nose stab and that machine came down hard. Christian Daly, I do believe is hurt folks. Back to the front of the pack. C-477, Jay Edworthy, with Christian Daly now hurt, and that gives Edworthy now some leeway as he's trying to hold off the rest of the pack. Edworthy down that back straight away, working his way to the uh, dogleg right. Lester now moves into second place on the 35 machine, and 225, Dean Harrison now moves into that third position. Harrison, a new rider in last year's uh, tour. Speaking of last year, Jay Edworthy, last year's 2016 Pro-Am champion on the P1 Aquacross USA Series. Back to that helmet cam footage. That gives you an idea of just how rough these conditions are. I'll tell you what, Lake Michigan here in Chicago, Illinois is absolutely brutal this weekend. As you see, Edworthy, last lap, white flag out, one lap to go, front of the pack, moving up on the back of the pack as Edworthy just has to coast through these lapped riders and coast his way to that uh, victory lap. You see Edworthy on the back of the course right now, little dog leg right, then he's got just a couple of two, three more turns to make, and he will pick up the win here in race number one, round two of the Northeast Series on the P1 Aquacross USA Pro-Am event. Leaderboard right now, Edworthy in first, Lester in second, and Harrison in third. As you're seeing, Jason Lester on the 35 machine going at it with Edworthy as Edworthy has moved up through the pack. You see him go by the Coast Guard boat. Here comes Lester. Those guys are competitors. And Edworthy on the C-477 coming off that back straightaway to the left side of the course. Lester gonna go outside, Edworthy gonna go inside as lap traffic, a little bit of a problem here. Dog leg to the right, and they're gonna come together, nearly get together. Lester goes big time up top, Edworthy goes inside. They come off the left side of the course, and here we go, down the front straight away. There we have it, taking the checkered flag, your finish. Jay Edworthy on the C-477 boat, picking up the big win in race number one here of the P1 Aquacross Pro-Am event. Lots of fans watching from the shoreline here. The break wall making for an unbelievable reverb. Edworthy gonna get five from Jason Lester. That's how competitive those guys are. Let's see the leaderboard. Jay Edworthy in first place, Jason Lester in second, third, Dean Harrison, fourth, Dave Davidson, fifth, Sophie Francis, and running out the field, Anthony Robinson. Yeah, today was quite a challenge. There's the water conditions and other riders are challenging you as well. But yeah, with the break wall, like we discussed before, the water coming in and it's coming back twice as bad as what it's coming in. So you really have to almost ride the conditions and not maybe worry about the competitors as much. Just ride your own race and uh, feel comfortable out there, I think, is the biggest thing for any competitor. A great win in the first heat for Jay Edworthy. Join us after the break for race two. Welcome back to Chicago for the final round of the P1 Aquacross Amateur Enduro Northeast Series. And now for race two. Here we are, folks, live, getting ready to kick off race number two of the P1 Aquacross Pro-Am race number two here in Chicago, Illinois. The course is amazing. 
The characteristics of the wave today are unbelievable. The waves are bouncing off the brake wall and coming back through the race course. And here we are kicking off race number two. It'll be 30 minutes plus one lap. Jay Edworthy picked up that win as we go on board with him. He picked up the win earlier today in race number one, and he's currently leading the Northeast Series points challenge here in P1 Aquacross Pro-Am event. We go live with him, and we're checking out just how rough that is. We look at the beginning of the race here as they come down the back straightaway. It looks like Gary Shrigley on the 734 machine pulling another killer hole shot with Edworthy right there in the hunt and Dean Harrison as well. Coming down that back straightaway off the left side of the course as they come up to the dog leg right. It is going to be Shrigley on the 734 riding the Yamaha followed by Edworthy on C477 and Dean Harrison on 225 currently holding on to that third position as they approach that dog leg which can be a little bit brutal. They're coming in with the waves and these waves are bouncing back off the brake wall as these riders are struggling to maintain control. And as we come off the left side of the course and work our way toward that front straightaway, it is Gary Shrigley. As we go on board with Edward, you'll see he's doing 51, 52 miles per hour, about 20 miles per hour slower than they were in Whiting, Indiana just a couple of weeks ago. Whistles sounding as course marshals letting everyone know what's going on as Shrigley still holds on to that lead followed by Edworthy and Dean Harrison and the rest of the field trying to close that gap as well. Down the front straightaway on C-477, Jay Edworthy on the c do as he works his way to that right side chicane. Now he's gonna work his way around a dog leg and that dog leg can be brutal as we go back to your leader on the 734 machine, Gary Shrigley. He pulled that killer hole shot and so far he has been able to hold on to that position Shrigley hopping and popping, getting some big air there as they work their way off the left side of the course, the right side chicane there, or right side dog leg that is, and to the front straightaway. A lot of the riders saying that that maneuver to the front straightaway has been brutal this day of racing. As we go back to Marco Mango on the C611 boat on the back straightaway trying to close that gap and here comes a race looks like 221 dave davidson holding on to that third position but 225 dean harrison trying to close that gap currently holding on to four as they work their way down the front straightaway and to that right side chicane once again 221 dave davidson holding on to third we cut back to the helmet cam of jay edworthy on the sea do out there currently holding on to that uh, that second position as he sets his sights on the back straightaway there battling it out with 221 dave davidson so now davidson has moved up into that third position is now battling his teammate jay edworthy so there they come edworthy on c477 dave davidson on 221 great friends training partners but right now this is all about racing folks as they come off the left side of the course davidson looking to make that pass on edworthy and it looks like he's able to do so as they go down the front straightaway dave davidson has now moved into second position which moves jay edworthy back into fourth your current leader though still out in front shrigley on the 734 machine Dave Davidson running second and Edworthy now running third. We go back to that helmet cam footage again. You'll see just how rough that water is as he's trying to battle with the whitewash coming out of the pump of Dave Davidson's machine down the front straightaway and to the right side chicane. Shows you just how rough that really is. And uh, even though those guys are training partners, they are at it hard racing here as we go to 221 Davidson in second and back to your leader 734 Shrigley currently out in front on the blue Yamaha working his way off the left side of the course catching some big air now 191 Sophie Francis quietly but surely working her way up through the pack as I do believe she is now setting her sights from fourth moving into that third position and we'll see Sophie Francis, the lone woman in this class. Now she's running in the 300 class. She's married to Eric Francis, one of the pro riders that we're also going to see performing this weekend here in Chicago as we go back to the helmet cam footage of Jay Edwards.
you'll see he's doing 40, 50 mile per hour, a lot slower than these guys are used to going, but with the chop, these machines are very rarely in the water. The pumps are in the air, which means you're not getting forward propulsion. Shrigley, currently your leader with Davidson in second, and now Sophie Francis on the 191 machine has moved into third as we are watching 734. Shrigley, your current leader. And here comes Sophie Francis on the 191 machine, setting her sights on Dave Davidson as they go by lap riders on the back straightaway. Sophie on the 191 machine makes the pass on Dave Davidson, and I do believe she's now moved into that second position as they work their way off the dog leg right and to the back straightaway. We focus on the front straightaway here as we've got a number of riders coming down the front straightaway. Once again, the front of the pack moving up on the back of the pack as we go to Shrigley on the 734 machine. Still your leader at the front of the pack with quite a commanding lead over Dave Davidson and Sophie Francis who are currently running second and third. Davidson keeping his body firmly planted in that seat. He said that uh, these racing conditions were good for his style of riding because he's a seat planted rider, whereas some other riders will ride standing up, uh, much like your top pro, Chris McCluggage. 734, Shrigley pulls his lanyard. He pulls his lanyard, which is gonna allow other riders to pass him. Dave Davidson now has taken that lead. He's your current leader. Shrigley moves back to second, and Sophie Francis on the 191 machine currently running third. Shrigley up and running again, but that was a huge mistake as he pulled that lanyard and allowed Dave Davidson to take over the lead. So Dave Davidson on the 221 machine down the front straightaway, your current leader. What a break for Davidson. Shrigley down again. Again with the lanyard pull. You got to believe that these are the rough conditions. Shrigley going back to pick up a buoy. He has now moved from a, a commanding lead in first now into second position and Sophie Francis knock knock knocking on his door looking to make that move as well your leader 221 Dave Davidson way out in front now with quite a commanding lead we go back to Shrigley on the 734 machine as he's currently running second and Sophie Francis right there in the hunt battling out with Shrigley for that second and third position as they come off the dog leg and work their way down the back straightaway. What a great race here, race number two for the P1 Aqua Cross Pro-Am Series here in Chicago, Illinois. This is race number two of the second round. Dave Davidson on the 221 machine. Last lap, white flag out. Dave Davidson with a commanding lead, working his way up on lap traffic. He's your leader with Shrigley running second and Sophie Francis representing the ladies currently running third and doing a phenomenal job as we watch Dave Davidson coasting by some lap traffic there, gonna get by Dean Harrison on the 225 machine. And Davidson coming off the left side of the course, simply has to keep where he is and come down that front straightaway. Dave Davidson looking for that checkered flag, and there he has it. Race finishing, Dave Davidson on the 221 machine out of Canada. Jay Edworthy's training partner and good buddy, gonna pick up the win in race number two. Absolutely phenomenal racing there. That was a great race. Shrigley pulled the lanyard and it cost him the win. Edworthy congratulating his partner and training partner, Dave Davidson, on a phenomenal win. And we'll see how this thing stacks up with our race two finishers. Picking up the win, Dave Davidson, second place, Gary Shrigley, third, Sophie Francis, fourth, Jay Edworthy, fifth, Jason Lester, and sixth, Dean Harrison, rounding out your field of top six finishers. I made the mistake of, uh, in Moto 1, not taping my goggles on, lost my goggles on the first lap, so I was pretty much blind the whole race. In those kind of conditions, you really have to see the water and read the water, or else um, you, you just can't get through it. So this time, uh, had those taped on really well, was able to see and make my way through uh, through the pack a bit to uh, to get up to the first place spot. So a great win for Dave Davidson. Join us after the break for the final race of the weekend.
back to your third and final race of the weekend. Let's get straight to the action and over to our commentator, Mike. Well, here we go, folks. P1 Aquacross USA Pro-Am race number three, round two in Chicago, Illinois of the Northeast Series. Now, we've had some phenomenal racing today, and I want to highlight Jay Edworthy real quick because the guy is running Pro Series and Pro-Am Series. He has run six or seven races this weekend, which in these conditions is brutal. Our course marshals are setting us up for the uh, inline start here as we have a rolling start. When that green flag drops, we will be underway. Green flag out, and there we go. It drops. This race is underway as we go on cam with Jay Edworthy on board on the C-477 machine. Edworthy needs to play his cards right here. I'm pretty sure he's just got to finish this race to be able to pick up the overall win as this race is going to be 30 minutes plus one lap. Jay Edworthy with a great hole shot as he jumps out to the lead. Now, you got to wonder if Edworthy's going to play it safe or he's going to go for the gusto because I think he's just got to finish to be able to pick up the overall win as he did win in 2016 as well in the Pro-Am event. 30 minutes plus one lap as we go on board with Jay Edworthy. The conditions have gotten rougher and rougher as we look at Edworthy out in front. He's going to be followed by Shrigley. He's also going to be followed by Dave Davidson. And let's not forget about Sophie Francis in the hunt as well. As we look at the riders come off the left side of the course here, C-477, Jay Edworthy, your current leader. And they work their way to the front straightaway. Now that is a tough maneuver, that dog leg right as they come off the left side of the course. Edworthy keeping that pump in the water, staying hooked up as he is hard on the throttle. Once again, on the course location, we are on the right side, another dog leg. So some of those dog legs, even though they're not sharp turns, they can be brutal. You catch a wave wrong, and the next thing you know, you are swimming in the water. We've seen a lot of that this weekend, and we've seen a lot of stitches and injuries as well as we go to Gary Shrigley on the 734 trying to close that gap, and 221, Dave Davidson in the hunt as well as they are all setting their sights on Jay Edworthy, the C-477 boat. Your leader, Shrigley, running second, and Dave Davidson on the 221, currently running third. And looks like Sophie Francis back there on the 191 boat, currently running in that fourth position. Down the front straightaway to the right side there as we work our way out on that chicane. You're looking at Sophie Francis trying to make the move on Dave Davidson. And here comes Shrigley trying to make the move on Jay Edworthy. So Jay Edworthy headed to the back straightaway with Shrigley all over him. You can see Shrigley out of the corner of Edworthy's helmet cam. And there we have it. Shrigley on the 734 machine going to make the pass on Edworthy as that's some great footage from that helmet cam with Chicago outline in the back straightaway. And we go to Shrigley, Edworthy, and Francis now moving into that third position as that is Sophie Francis representing the ladies out of England, uh, now living in Florida with her husband, Eric Francis, one of the top pro riders that we'll all see, also see race later today. And Sophie Francis gonna make the pass on Jay Edworthy. As they go to the dog leg right, you can see Sophie Francis keeping that pump hooked up, maybe a little bit better than Edworthy. You gotta think in the back of your mind, Edworthy's playing it safe, staying on the machine. He's just gotta finish uh, the race today and he will pick up the overall victory. But right now it's Shrigley out in front, Sophie Francis currently running second, and Jay Edworthy running third with Dave Davidson back there in that fourth position. You can see the splatter coming up off the waves and hitting Edworthy in the face as we look at Sophie Francis on the inside, making that pass on him as they come up on lap traffic too. Just phenomenal footage there. A friend once said to me, what's it like to race watercross? I put a pair of goggles on him and sprayed him with a hose and said, that's what it's like. Shrigley, your leader, Francis in second, and Edworthy now in third as Sophie Francis going by a lapped rider like a hot knife through butter. She says, get out of my way, boys. I'm here to represent. As she is riding that machine in a stand-up style and now back into the seat, Sophie Francis going back and forth from a sitting style to a stand-up style. As you see Sophie Francis now battling it out, 
down the back straightaway there. I do believe she's battling it out with Shrigley. Looks like a battle heating up here between 35, Jason Lester, and C477, Jay Edworthy. Edworthy had pulled the whole shot, but has now moved back into that fourth or fifth position as Jason Lester now has made the pass on the 35 machine as we watch him go down the front straightaway. Jason Lester hard at it. 735, or four that is, Shrigley pulling that lanyard again. He's had lanyard issues all weekend. He had him in race number two. He's had him now in race number three. And that lanyard, not Shrigley's friend this weekend. It has cost him some positions. Uh, 191 there, Sophie Francis now really working her way up towards the front of the pack as i do believe she's made the pass on dave davidson and is now your current leader as she has that thing just absolutely pedaled to the metal francis is your leader dave davidson in second and now jason lester in third as we look at c477 jay edworthy now back in that fourth or fifth position as he is taking it easy. I think he realizes he's just got a coast to pick up the overall victory. He's been phenomenal racing a ton of races this weekend here in Chicago, Illinois. Again, the chop, unbelievable. It's a virtual washboard here as it's three, four, five, and even six foot chop with no rhyme or reason. I talked to many of the racers and they said, this is the toughest location that they've ever raced. And believe me, these guys have been around the world racing. We go back to the front of the pack. Sophie Francis on the 191 machine, and she is really starting to stretch that gap out over Dave Davidson and Jason Lester on the 35 machine, as that is what we're looking at right now for the top three. Front of the pack, moving up on the back of the pack. Jason Lester now battling it out with Dave Davidson for that second position. Lester on 35, Davidson on 221 as they swap back and forth there for the leads. Dave Davidson gonna take the inside route. Lester gonna go outside and as they come off the back straightaway to the dog leg right. Davidson still gonna maintain that second position as it's Francis on the 191, Davidson on 221, and Jason Lester on 35 as the battle for second place really heating up as Sophie Francis on the 191 machine, your leader, starting to get away from the boys. This battle for second place though, highly contested between Jason Lester and Dave Davidson. As we can look at those riders down the front straightaway, white flag out, just one lap to go. We'll see if Dave Davidson can hold off Jason Lester. Now these points matter. They medal for the, for the Northeast Series overall and also for the weekend overall, as we're gonna figure out once points are divided and doled out to the uh, persons who earned them prospectively, what's happened right now uh, Sophie Francis on 191, your leader, 221, Dave Davidson in second, Jason Lester in third on the 35 machine. As you see the battle right there, that's first place down the back straightaway, Sophie Francis with Dave Davidson trying to hold off Jason Lester as they come off that right side chicane back to the front of the pack, 191, Sophie Francis representing the ladies, representing Pro-Am riders as she works her way down the front straightaway. How about it, Sophie Francis picking up the win. Little Sophie Francis representing England, representing her new friends in Florida. Uh, her husband's team right there riding for Riva Racing, doing it up proud. She is ecstatic. Sophie Francis representing as she picks up the win here in race number three of the P1 Aquacross Pro-Am uh, race championships here in Chicago, Illinois. The battle for second there between Jason Lester and Dave Davidson, I couldn't quite tell from the angle there. We're gonna have to see what this uh, becomes here as we get the official results. I gotta believe that Davidson held off Lester, but the angle I had made it tough. Once again, Sophie Francis celebrating her win, high fives from the boys, letting her know that she ran a great race as she picked up the win here. Dave Davidson right there congratulating her. And here we go, round two champions. Sophie Francis in first, Dave Davidson in second, Jason Lester in third, Gary Shrigley in fourth, Ed Worthy in fifth, and Kip in sixth. I tried at my hardest, um, the first race and second race. Um, and then when I came out on the third race, I was like, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna win it. And I knew that it was in my head on the, by the second race. 
Um, I had a speak with the husband and he was like, you're going to win it and gave me the confidence. I got out there. I didn't have the best to start, but I kept going and pushing hard and I got through the pack and I ended up with a win. So our points after the final race, Dave Davidson in first, Sophie Francis in second, Edworthy in third, Lester in fourth, Shrigley in fifth, and Harrison in sixth. Uh, it feels great. I mean, there's some tough conditions out there. Um, I didn't have a great first moto. I had a, a great second moto. I won that one. So uh, it put me in a good position going into moto three. I knew where I had to finish to win the weekend, which is, uh, is important. Uh, I knew I didn't have to catch Sophie for that final position, so I just kind of tried to play it smart, keep ahead of the, the pack, but uh, not push myself and make a mistake and, uh, and try and take the overall for the weekend, which, uh, which worked out that way. So for the Northeast Championship, Jay Edworthy picking up the win, Davidson in second, Lester in third, Mango in fourth, Francis in fifth, and Harrison in sixth. Yeah, we just got to dig deep every once in a while. Uh, it's good to push yourself. Everybody knows that uh, all the riders out here are trying to strive for bigger goals or get better or do different things. And yeah, we've I got a lot of guys behind me and pushing me and encouraging me every day. And, uh, that helps tremendously. So it's been a great weekend of racing here in Chicago, and Jay Edworthy takes the overall championship for the Pro-Am Northeast Series. Can't wait for more racing next year.